Welcome back everyone. I am here with another really fun, quick holiday project for the weekend. So as you can see, these are just some simple little treat bags and I just decorated them really fun because you know, it definitely makes a difference uh, than you know leaving like a plain bag. But I thought these would be great for Halloween treat bags. Um, if your kids are in school or you know, just any day really, even little like party gift bags, but they're a nice size as you can see my hand and has like a little gazette on the side. Just a really quick fun project that I thought I would share. And it's going to take us minutes, which is the best part. And I'll show you how I decorated my bag and all that. Um, so go ahead and grab your scoreboard. And we're only gonna need one sheet of paper for this, which is the best part. So I have, you know, uh, quite a few requests for one sheet paper projects. So our paper is gonna run six by 11 and a half inches. Okay, and I'm gonna use some crepe paper today because you guys know how much I love their stuff. And at the 11 and a half inch score mark, this is where we're gonna be scoring. So I'm just gonna leave this up for you um, for a second, or actually, so you can snap it super easy scores and I'll just read them out loud as I do them. So it's gonna be at a half an inch, one inch, one and a half, and then we're gonna go ahead and move to the six inch mark, and then six and a half inch, and seven. Now we're gonna turn it to the side and make sure whatever side you turn it on is the bottom of your bag so you want all your things to face, you know, like this, so be sure to do that. And I'm just gonna go ahead and score that at the six inch mark um, at three fourths of an inch. So just like right here, depending how bag you, deep you want your bag. So if you want your bag wider, you can move up and it will make it wider. But I'm gonna go ahead and do mine at three fourths of an inch. And that is all of our scoring. So the easiest way to do this is, let's just start, basically you're gonna go down. So just go toward your um, bag and then fold out and then go back down. And that's gonna give you that little, you know, like M. And then you're simply gonna do that to the other side. So go ahead and open that up, go toward the bag and then go out and then go toward the bag again. Okay, and that's gonna give you this. So now we want to do um, the bottom score, but let me show you where to cut. So we're gonna take our middle right here and you're simply gonna cut just the outside right there and leave this and cut this. So that's gonna be our little tab. Okay, now we're gonna do the, um, the end. So I want you guys to see this. So this corner here, we don't need this corner. So we're just gonna take this corner right off. So the little outside edge corner. And we're just gonna add a slit right here. Too easy. I haven't done like a bag tutorial thing in a while. So we're just gonna fold all this up now because now we're gonna fold our bag in. So just kind of fold everything up. And we're gonna just go ahead and like flip that under. Flip this one under because you want this to be inside. And you're gonna simply glue it down and you're gonna have this cute little gazette bag. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue mine from here first. Whichever way you prefer to glue is, you know, cool. And then I'm gonna make sure this is sealed. You can go ahead and stick your hand on the bottom too, like inside the bag to make sure. And then you just go ahead and seal this bottom part right here but it's such an easy way to make bags. And it's ni a nice size too. So you can obviously alter this method to any size you want, but I just thought this was a good size to have for like kids and things. I'm just putting my hand in there, making sure the glue's on there real good. And ta-da, here's your bag, totally standing bag. So I'll just show you how I decorate it. Now, this I just kind of squeeze. So what I did was I um, 
took a doily die and of course you can um, you know buy one or don't even have to do this part but I'm just gonna show you how I decorate my bag so I just fold this doily in half I think the best part about making bags is definitely decorating them. Okay, and then I just smack that on there. And I did leave it up a little bit. I don't know why, I just, you can pull it down, but I just wanted them to see that. Because if you have like, um, you know, con what do you call it? Inside, <laughs> like the little confetti stuff. Um, sorry, I'm just grabbing the clip that can show so i'm just gonna add actually i have two clips here but i feel like the pink oh you stuck yes you are i feel like the pink will just contrast a little bit so okay i'm gonna put that on there and i'm gonna take some twine and twirl it around i can't be without my twine i feel like i need some more variety but i always go back to this rose gold color okay I just wrap it about two or three times and now I'm just gonna kind of pick what I want on the front Oops, sorry this side is shorter I need this to be longer Okay, I'm just gonna take this off for a second. Me and the string, it's a struggle, even off camera. <laughs> okay, so let me wrap this around again because I need it to be even when I tie it. Okay, and I'm gonna take like just a little tag and then what I had done is I um, cut out this one too. So let's see what this one looks like. I have not done this one as a so I'm going to cut that off because of the fringe on it. So all of these twines are pretty good, except I noticed the metallic threading is just difficult. It's not the company. It's actually metallic thread is just its own thing <laughs> and not easy to ever work with, I noticed. Okay, so I'm going to put both of those on and tie this. Let's see how it looks. We'll see if we have room for a um, chipboard piece. Cause this bag's already busy and I don't know why I stuck the star in the back I should have definitely stuck that in the front so it's okay I guess it still gives it a little gleam let me see what it looked like this way I actually kind of just like it with just the star on there I think I'm going to take that off and see how it looks with the chipboard. So I'm going to take this, leave that. You would think I would do this before I get on camera, but I kind of like doing it with you guys and just winging it. Okay. Because there's no reason to do a tutorial twice, right? Okay, so I have the little star there, and let me see if any of these chipboard pieces will go. I never have room, and my chipboard, okay, this is how they look. By the time, this is the real world right here. Um, I, I, I'm so indecisive, and I put things back, put them, go back, forth, back, forth, and then they start sticking on each other, and this is how my chipboard <laughs> ends up looking, uh, yeah, at the end. So, so sorry to show you the truth here. And then look, this is what happens to mine too. I end up having to glue them on because I keep peeling them on and off on so many projects. I think that's cute, but I really wasn't going for that. I think it might have to be the angel. Oh, this is pretty, but it's kind of too big for that. I wish they had these smaller. Um, that would have been fun. Okay, angel, you're gonna be on there. So I'm just gonna glue mine since I destroyed my chipboard. And pop it on there. So this would be really cute for many things, um, like little baby nail polishes, all that kind of stuff, but definitely treats for candy and things like that. So super easy and cute. And I wanna show you something else you can add. 
So like these, I got these from Target last year, but if you have like little bells or, um, you know, just the mini ones or even big ones, add those on your bags too, because it adds such a, a nice touch. And that's what I wanted to do. Let me check one more thing. Hold on. I wanted to see how this looked. This was from the Crate Paper Collection. So this was a tassel. And I thought this would be really sweet on there too. I don't know if I'm have room for it. I might need to make a hole. Or if I can stick it on there. That would be adorable too. I don't think I would stick it on there. I think I would make the hole. So if you do a tassel or something, just make a little hole on the side. And you can have this cute little bag and it's just adorable. So hope you guys enjoy this. Thanks guys.